Hey, welcome to the vlog. So let's look at WordPress in 2021. A question that I get on a regular basis is whether or not WordPress is worth learning in 2021. Is it a technology you should use for your own site? Should you use it for client sites? Is it dying? Is WordPress dying? So let me just give you the short answer just in case you're in a hurry. It's not even close to dying. One of the common things you're going to hear on the YouTubes and elsewhere, you're going to hear about the dying technology, how this technology here is dying or that technology here is dying, et cetera, et cetera. For the most part, this is not the case. In my experience, going back to the 1990s, it is rare that a technology falls away very quickly, if it falls away at all. Like I can remember just a handful, not even a handful, of technologies that have disappeared. Uh, the last big one I can think of was Flash, and that was like 2011, 2012, something like that. That's a rare event. Anyway, back to WordPress. So is WordPress dying? No, not even close. Let me show you something I pulled up here. WP Forms is the most popular and beginner-friendly drag-and-drop form builder for WordPress. You can create anything from a simple contact form to a powerful payment form to accept orders and donations. Leverage conditional smart conditional logic to create dynamic forms that respond to customers' input and more, all without writing any code or developer help. In just a few clicks, you can integrate your forms with popular email marketing services like MailChimp to automatically add users to your mailing list when a user submits a form and industry staple payment providers like Stripe, PayPal, and Authorize.net to accept payments for orders, donations, and even subscriptions. Once a form is submitted, you can access your user submitted form data in our easy to read entry pages, keeping all of your important business leads together in one place, saving you precious time you can spend on expanding your business. Check out the link below to access WP Forms and take advantage of all its capabilities. This is something, uh, is WordPress dying? The odds are pretty high that if you spend any significant amount of time in the world of online business, you've heard of WordPress at least once or twice. You might have even, whoops, let me say that again. You might even had it recommended to you for your business website. Let me just say in full transparency even though i'm a software developer we write our own apps we created our own content management system which is basically something like wordpress but we decided to use wordpress for our sites for a whole bunch of reasons number one reason is that wordpress is pretty refined it's robust that it has a huge ecosystem and uh it's not perfect it has its warts but there's a lot of good technology around the wordpress ecosystem that makes life a lot easier for you so let me continue in the 15 years since its initial release, WordPress has evolved from a simple blogging platform into a full-featured content management system, or CMS. So let's just look at the statistics here. So this was in created, I think this article was 2020. So yeah, March 27, 19, okay, a couple years old. It's still the same. Uh, if you look at this, WordPress, in terms of uh, this kinsta.com uh, statistic, you look how dominant WordPress is. 60% of the sites are, uh, in terms of content management systems, are WordPress. Drupal, Joomla, are barely uh, a blip, Shopify, Squarespace, and then other. So really, uh, WordPress is by far the king, queen, the royalty of the content management system online. So what does that mean? That means that there's a lot of jobs. So let me continue. Uh, these websites include belonging to several high-profile high individuals, businesses, and organizations, including the White House, the, Uni Un the New Yorker, and the New York Times. They all use WordPress. What's more, WordPress market share is only projected to increase over the coming years, especially in relation to straggling competitors like Joomla and Drupal. WordPress first started out as a blogging tool, very simple. And competitors like Joomla and Drupal came out as full-fledged content management systems. What's the difference? Full-fledged content management systems have more capabilities 
and it's understood that you might have multiple users, different themes inside of the content management system, a whole bunch of capabilities. Well, WordPress is pretty simple. Let's change. WordPress is now itself a content management system, but it's really approachable. WordPress's big strength, though, as I've specified in, in other videos, is the WordPress ecosystem. It is massive, meaning tons of templates, tons of tools, et cetera, et cetera. That's one of the big values of uh, learning WordPress. Let me get back to this article. Uh, yeah. uh, given all of this, it might be surprising to think that WordPress could possibly be on the decline. And yet it seems like every other month there's an article published somewhere heralding the death of WordPress and or its underlying technologies, especially PHP. That's another story. I've been hearing for uh, 15 years about how PHP is going down and it just... It's one of the top five, top six languages, period, out there. and has been that way for many years. While much of this premature grave dancing is likely due to developers' infamous hatred of WordPress, which is true, some of which is deserved, which is also true, there are still some valid points to be made uh, by these detractors. Anyhow, it goes on from there. What I wanted to uh, show you now is uh, let's look at some WordPress jobs. So I checked out WordPress developer jobs in Montreal. That's where I'm from now. But there's representative around the world. So you got WordPress Laravel, web, web, excuse me, web developer Laravel, uh, 40 to 60,000 a year starting uh, web developer, full stack website developer. Here it is. HTML, CSS, WordPress, Shopify, PHP, 60 to 68,000 a year. So, you know, that's, in Montreal, that's very good. Uh, what else? So you got all these different ranges, 20, 60 hour, but as web developer, React, 25 to 36 an hour. If you want to know what the hour, the per hour rate equals for a year, just multiply it times 1,000 then times 2. So 25,000 will equal 50,000 a year equivalent salary, assuming a full-time job. Again, PHP React node for this job. goes to show, you know, I've heard, like, like they said in the article, people said that PHP and WordPress were going to go bye-bye, but uh, many years ago, but um, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So there you go. I won't go on. As you can see, there are uh, a lot of jobs in PHP, uh, PHP, PHP. Uh, it's weird. I put WordPress. You don't seem to hear too many here. But I can tell you, though, that there are a ton of WordPress jobs, especially in a freelance space. If you want to be a freelancer, WordPress is the king. A lot of people don't like working with it. And on the flip side, so many small businesses use WordPress. I believe 30% or 35% of the world's websites are run on WordPress. That means a lot of work for WordPress developers. Now, developer doesn't necessarily mean you have to be a programmer. You could be just a WordPress uh, professional, if you will, where you know the themes, you know how, you know how to use plugins, et cetera, et cetera. Anyhow, I hope you found this video useful. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.